Hey guys and welcome again to your 12 backbone.js tutorial. This is Victor and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to add new elements to your collections and remove elements from your collections. So let's get started. Before we actually start adding and removing elements from our collection, I'm gonna create a function so that we can actually see what is inside of our collection. To do that, let's type in here function display collection contents and this is gonna take two parameters parameter number one is gonna be a string to display <coughs> and parameter number two is gonna be our collection and after this we're, we're gonna do a console.log to display our contents and we're gonna display our string a space and then we're gonna display json.string collection dot to json what this is gonna do is that it's gonna convert the collection to a json object and then actually it's not string it's stringify I'm sorry and then after this is converted to a json object it's gonna stringify that so that we can actually see it in our console cool so now let's test our function with this display collection contents and it takes two parameters. Parameter number one is string. Um, two elements. And then our second parameter is gonna be our collection, class one. Let's let's test it out. Let's go to our browser. Refresh. And it says there's nothing in there. Why? Oh, I know why. It's because we have no elements inside of our student model. There's no attributes to display. So what's happening is that it's actually displaying the two elements, one, two, but since they have nothing, it's not going to display anything. So let's, let's get started by that. Let's add a name to our students. Let's add a name and an ID. So name is going to be Johnny. Its ID is going to be zero. And let's add a name to Vicky. And its ID is going to be one. Let's refresh our page. Oh, syntax unexpected number 13. Um, oh, that's why I missed a semicolon here. Sorry about that. There we go. Name Johnny, ID 0. Name Vicky, ID 1. <clears throat> cool. Next thing we're going to do is add an element to our collection. To do that, all you have to do is class1.add. We, we need to create another student model. So we create another one called Pepe. We change the name to Pepe. And let's make its ID 2. So then we add, you need the square brackets, or actually, if it's only one element, you don't need the square brackets, but I just like adding them because it makes my job easier. So after this, you put the elements that you want to add in here, and you can put more than one, and they are comma separated. But for now, let's just add one. So now, let's display, again, our collection. This time, we're going to have three elements in there, so I'm going to change the tag to three elements. And let's refresh our page. There we go. Two elements. There's only two. Three elements. There's three elements. Johnny, Vicky, and Pepe. Now, to, all, to remove an element from your collection, all you have to do is class1.remove. And you pass in whatever model you want to remove. This time, let's remove Vicky. I hate Vicky. And then after that, let's display our contents again. Um, two elements. There we go. And as you can see, in our two elements one and the last one, B key is not there anymore. Cool. Now, before we end this tutorial, I'm going to show you that you can actually add several things in one single add statement and remove several things in one single remove statement. Let's add just another one. Let's add Lola, name Lola, ID of 2, let's change this one to ID of 3, and let's add Lola and Pepe. We refresh, now it's 4 elements here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's Lola right there, cool. Now let's remove Vicky and Pepe, we refresh. And Johnny and Lola are the only ones remaining. 
cool. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.